When thinking of cars, there are legendary names that stir the hearts of enthusiasts. Dodge, a brand known for its muscle cars, gave us the Charger, Challenger and modern day Viper. But there is another Dodge that is often overshadowed by its high performance siblings, a car that was truly ahead of its time. The Dodge M4S, also known as the Turbo Interceptor PPG. The story of the M4S began in 1981 when Dodge introduced this remarkable vehicle. However, it wasn't just another production car, it was conceived as a technology demonstrator. This mid-engine marvel was a radical departure from Dodge's traditional offerings. It featured a sleek and aerodynamic body with a drag coefficient of just 0.23, a result of extensive wind tunnel testing. And the M4S wasn't built within Chrysler's own facilities, instead it was assembled by a combination of companies, including 3D Industries for the outer shell molds, Special Projects Incorporated for the body and interior, and Special Vehicles Incorporated for the final assembly of the four prototypes. Now what made the M4S truly unique was not just its futuristic appearance, but also what resided beneath its aerodynamic shell. While many supercar manufacturers of that era opted for V8 and V12 engines, Dodge decided to go a different route. The M4S was equipped with a turbocharged four-cylinder engine, and not just any four-banger, a 2.2-liter Cosworth Tweak powerhouse producing a remarkable 440 horsepower. This turbocharged engine, combined with the M4S's lightweight and aerodynamic design, catapulted the car from 0 to 60 in just 4.1 seconds, and on a long enough straight, she could reach a top speed of 195 miles per hour. This meant that in the early 1980s, it was the fastest car powered by a four-cylinder engine in the world, solidifying its place in automotive history. Now the car was built originally to be used as a base car for the PPG IndyCar World Series, but the M4S gained wider recognition when it was featured in the 1986 action fantasy film The Wraith. In this film, a resurrected teen portrayed by young Charlie Sheen returns from the dead as a supernatural street racer, driving an indestructible car. The car was black, ominous and capable of avenging its driver's murder. It exacts retribution by causing dramatic, fiery crashes and then miraculously regenerating itself, a plot that epitomizes the extravagance of 1980s cinema. And if I'm honest, it sounds kind of like modern Fast and Furious movies. But let's continue. The M4S became an instant hit among teenagers, leaving an indelible mark on the era's pop culture. It may not have been as iconic as other movie cars, but the M4S's unique design and mid-engine layout set it apart from typical Dodge vehicles of its time. Interestingly, the M4S almost ended up being more infamous than famous due to a near-fatal accident during stunt driving for the movie. Luckily, the driver survived. Now the original M4S made for IndyCars is now housed at the Walter P. Chrysler Museum. However, what's even more fascinating is what happened to the other drive-worthy movie prop cars featured in the movie The Wraith. One of these cars mysteriously disappeared. Its whereabouts is unknown to this day. The second car created by Gene Winfield, the man behind its design, eventually made its way to Bob Butts at the Fantasy Car Ranch. Butts later then sold the car to John Watson, a kit car maker, who used it as the basis for a kit car known as the Wraith 2. Now, a total of five bodies seem to have been made, four by um, Dodge himself and one just specifically for the movie. One of these cars have the Cosworth engine that I talked about earlier. Then two of them were fitted with VW engines that were used for filming, and then there were two bodies with no engines. And while the dream of putting an M4S into production never materialized, it had already made a significant impact. In 2015, one of the M4S models, which had no engines, got fitted with a supercharged Pontiac V6 engine and was listed for sale on Craigslist for $150,000. The car has no VIN and it wasn't even road legal. So that's a lot of money, as you aren't even allowed to drive the car. But that said, the car is a really rare gem, so maybe it is worth it. I mean, the Dodge M4S remains a testament to Dodge's ambition to push the boundaries of technology and design. While it never became a production reality, the M4S paved the way for the future of automotive advancements. Its compact yet powerful four-cylinder engine foreshadowed the trend of downsized turbocharged power plants that we see in modern high-performance cars like the Mercedes AMG A45. While the M4S may not be actively seen on the road, its spirit lives on in the hearts of enthusiasts who admires its unique blend of innovation, design and speed. 
Its futuristic look, combined with cutting-edge technology, continues to fascinate, making it a memorable piece of automotive history. Today you can catch a glimpse of the M4S on its Facebook page, where its design and history can be relived. Although it may not have reached the heights of fame of some other vehicles, the Dodge M4S Turbo Interceptor PPG is an automotive treasure waiting to be discovered by a new generation of enthusiasts. And hopefully this video can help do just that. But at the end of the video, please let me know what you guys thought of the video and what you think of this really special, really rare Dodge. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Um, let me know down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you'll most probably like most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?